Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to play Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People and it's going to sound like this. So I'm going to show you how to play both of those versions there. The first one, which kind of has the bass line in the chords, and then the second one, which is just the chords. So, oh yeah, um, sorry, you should probably point out repping Montclair State today. Um, I think I was repping Cornell in the other uni in the uh, last video I just did, not gonna lie. I'm just a big fan of American college swag. Um, I don't collect them though, I have been, I do have friends at these places, I don't just sit at home and be like, oh today I'm going to order a Stanford t-shirt. No, I do have friends who go to these places, so it's not that sad. If you want to play this, um, uh, the song, you're gonna need a capo on one, and you're gonna need four chords. So you've got an E minor, a C, a G, and a D. So if you know how to play those chords, skip ahead, and if you don't, keep watching. So high E string, string one, low E string, string six. So to play an E minor, you're gonna put your first finger on the fifth string, second fret, and your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. To play a G, you're going to put your first finger on the 5th string 2nd fret, your middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, your ring finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret, and your little finger on the 1st string 3rd fret. To play a D, you're going to put your first finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret, your middle finger on the 1st string 2nd fret, and your ring finger on the 2nd string 3rd fret. And then to play an A, last but by no means least, you're going to put your first finger on the 4th string 2nd fret your middle finger on the 3rd string 2nd fret, and your ring finger on the 2nd string 2nd fret. Sorry, I need to get my hair cut, and um, yeah, it's cool. I've got half an hour before I have to leave, so, because don't get me wrong, I do like having a long fringe, but I mean, it's kind of excessive. I've got an E minor, a G, a D, and an A. Okay, so there's one chord pattern the whole way through the song. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold each of these chords for four beats. So this chord pattern, you've got an E minor, a G, a D, and an A. So four beats on each of these chords. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, first of all, I'm gonna talk about just how just to play the chord version, and then we'll go onto the chord plus the bass line version a bit later. So once again, that just sounds like, So on each chord, all you're going to do is just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so nice and slowly, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. so on and so forth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to play the chord version with the bass line. Um, so together, that's just quickly again going to sound like... So this version of the song follows exactly the same chord pattern as the previous version I just showed you, except that one, the, pre the first version was using like these more open forms of the chords, this version is using like the bar chord or like the power chord versions, okay? So what we're going to do is on each chord I'm going to show you, um, the strumming, I'm going to show you a slightly different strumming pattern to the first one. So what you've got on each chord, you've got a down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so I'll show you on the E minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just practice that strumming pattern a few times on the open chords, so from the previous chords. So you've just got a down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Okay, so just down, down, up, down, up. So what you're going to do is, um, you're going, so on the E minor you're going to do down, down, up, down, up, 
And then that last down, you're not going to play it on the E minor. What you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers off of the guitar completely and then bring your thumb round to the sixth string, second fret. So you're onto this kind of, well, F sharp. And then the last down strum from that strumming pattern, you're going to just strum the sixth string. So on the E minor, you've got down, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, so either you can use your thumb or kind of use your first finger. Either way, something has to be get onto the sixth string at the second fret. Because this is the way this is going to work. So you're going to do most of it, so the down, down, up, down, up is going to be on the chords. And then the last down strum of that pattern is normally just going to be on an individual note, which means you can kind of hear the bass line a lot more. So from the start, on the E minor, you've got down, down, up, down, up, down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play a G, but in a bar chord form. So to play a G in a bar chord form, you're going to bar all the strings at the third fret with your first finger. You're going to put your middle finger on the second string, so on the third string at the fourth fret your ring finger on the 5th string at the 5th fret and your little finger on the 4th string at the 5th uh, at the fifth fret. Check the boxes on my head, that'll be right, okay? So if you just down strum all of that, that is a G as a bar chord. So what you're going to do um, is, so you've already got the... So you're going to do, once again, do the down, down, up, down, up on the G as a bar chord then you're going to move either your ring finger or your little finger um, something so you end up having um, maybe say your ring finger on the sixth string at the fifth fret and that note there that's going to kind of be the one like the last down strum or the individual note that you play for that strumming pattern okay so from the beginning with the E minor down down up down up down 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 up down up down so as you can see, I move my I all I do is you basically just move your ring finger up a string. Okay, so then the next chord in the pattern is D. So what you're going to do is you're going to play this kind of like weird bar chord version of a D. So what you're going to do is you're going to bar strings one through to five on the fifth fret with your first finger. You're going to put your ring finger on the what's that? The fourth string at the seventh fret and your little finger on the third string at the seventh fret. So the deal with this is, if you strum strings 5 through to 1, you're, you don't really need kind of the top notes of that. So what you're going to do, um, well for this kind of chord, what you're going to do is you're just going to strum strings 5, 4 and 3, kind of something along those lines. Once again with the typical down, down, up, down, up. And then what you're going to do, sorry I realised that I did kind of just hit those strings there, but it's quite hard to kind of just to isolate the chord and do it, it's a lot easier when you've when you played the whole thing. So what you're going to do is the note you're going to play for the last down strum is you're just going to put your middle finger on to the seventh fret of the sixth string. Okay, so you've got down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so very simple. Your middle finger isn't really doing anything in this D power in this D bar chord shape. So you're just going to move it on to the sixth string, seventh fret. Strum that one, and then we're just going to move to an A bar chord. So you're just going to keep this whole position, obviously without your middle finger, on the 6th string. And you're just going to move this up one string. So you're now barring all the strings at the 5th fret. Your middle finger, sorry, your ring finger and your little finger are on the 7th fret of the... 7th fret? Yes, of the 5th uh, uh, and the 4th string. Once again, doing the down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Um, we're just gonna talk, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna mush all of that together really slowly, okay? Because it takes a bit of a while to get used to, but it sounds really cool when you've got it. So, with the E minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Oh, so I forgot to say, um, the kind of the last down on that on that A bar chord. You can either just like not hit the strings or there's not kind of really a note to play, you just kind of just get on with life and ignore it, okay? So we're just going to mush all that together. to make that sound a bit cooler is either you can just kind of keep just strumming it like that or you can add some palm mutes in instead or you can palm mute the whole thing so that would just sound like this about this 
song though is just that there's one chord pattern the whole way through so you can swap out you know adding the bass line swap out just playing the chords so yeah that's the whole song so please comment please share please subscribe and please request my lesson for the day is that um so we all know that Sorry, so this, this is a bit of a, a random lesson today, but I saw it the other day and was like, say what? Um, so we all know that obviously we can, like humans, can be allergic to animals, but cats can also be allergic to humans, which I have to say is kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm pretty sure as well, like kind of following on this article that I read, I don't know what I was Googling to come onto this, but anyway, um, but they basically have like the same kind of symptoms that humans do, like they sneeze and they get like itchy skin and I was like, oh my god, you poor felines, that's really, really unfortunate. But there we are, so if your cat is sneezing and itching, potentially he could be allergic to you. So there we are. Um, anyway, so please have a, so, uh, have a nice life, YouTube, please comment, please rate, please subscribe and please request.